Hello everybody, I am Just Lance, and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. One moment. Had to get a drink, forgot my sippy cup in the living room. Anyhow, um, some of those of you who uh, have been subscribed for a while might be a little curious as far as the title and the description of this video. This video is one in the first in a series of videos I've been wanting to make. And this video has primarily one group of people, but there's three groups of people that this video could help. One is the brand brand new wet shaver. Uh, you might just be getting into this and you're a little confused about stuff. Well, hopefully, maybe this series of videos will help you, will help clear the air and help you learn some things. The second is those who are thinking about getting into to, to traditional wet shaving, but not sure. Uh, could help you out quite a bit. But the third one are those who has a commonality with me. That commonality is blindness. Um, for those of you who don't know, I was born with congenital glaucoma. Uh, right eyes glass, very little sight in my left. I cannot even see myself in the mirror. Anyways, so I've been my whole life dealing with one level of blindness or another. My vision was pretty decent up until 2000, February of 2002. Since then, I couldn't get around without having either a white cane or my guide dog. Now, why I got into wet shaving. Okay. Oh, by the way. So if you're worried about, is this guy going to be able to give us good advice as far as being a blind wet shaver goes? Yeah. I've been shaving my face with safety razors since December of 2014. Been shaving my head with safety razors since 2015. Anyways, so real quick, the difference between Modern wet shaving and traditional wet shaving. Modern wet shaving is if you have a Mach 3 or a Gillette Mach 3, Gillette, Hi uh, Gillette um, Sensor, Chic Hydro, Chic Quattro, any type of cartridge razor or any type of modern multi-blade disposable razor. And if you use canned foam, canned gel, then you're modern wet shaving because you are using water in your shave, but it's with modern gear. Um, traditional wet shaving is using things such as my very first safety razor. For those who cannot see this, this is a razor between two and three inches long and it's all brass and it's plated in nickel. Anyways, the down at the bottom is a knob which slightly flares out and you spin that knob Hence the twist to open because a set of what's called butterfly doors, barn doors, or silo doors, that's just the names they got, opens up. And on the side you have two T-bars which go up and down depending on whether the door is opening or closing. And then you put your blade in on this long linear T-bar and then you just spin the knob counterclockwise. It closes, you snug it down, you're ready to shave. That was my first razor. Another type of razor out there is a two-piece, and I have one, which is this. This is the McCore 34C. This is a very good safety razor. It's got a knob at the bottom. You spin it counterclockwise, and then instead of a set of doors, you have the top plate, which is the top cap. You, oops, got to spin one more. You grab that top cap, pull it off, you have a long threaded post with two short blade pins on either side, and there's three holes in what's called the base plate. So you just put your blade on and you drop your top cap back in through the base plate and then twist it clock counterclockwise, snug it up. That razor has a brass handle, brass knob, and a zinc alloy head, and it's all Plate it or chrome plate it. So let's go ahead and let's take a look. You know, 
let's look at why I got into wet shaving. I got into wet shaving, traditional wet shaving, because shaving was an absolute chore for me. I hated it, did not like it. Grab my foam or gel, squirt it out, smear it on my face, take my razor, scrape, 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 smear it on my head, scrape, 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 and I hated it. I uh, couldn't afford good cartridges, or the cartridges, because they were just too expensive. So I'd get used to one, one type of disposal, and the store would stop carrying that brand. You know, Big Lots, Dollar General, Water would stop carrying that brand. I'd have to get another one sometimes. The ones I replaced them with sucked. Sometimes they did all right. And so, you know, um, and it just, I'd get done. My neck felt like a cheese grater was on it. Anything I used had to have aloe vera in it for sensitive skin. If not, I got so much razor burn on the neck, not so much the face, but got quite a bit on my head sometimes, but it was just, it was awful. I hated it. I couldn't stand it. I'd get bumps, little bumps on my head, quite a few bumps on my neck, some on my face, but mainly on my neck and on my head. So, you know, and then Rick, like I said, Rick from Pond Stars was plugging the MicroTouch one. I was like, you know what? I, I want that. Got it for, my girlfriend got it for me for Christmas. And then I hated the blades, didn't like them. They were rough and got a different brand of blade, Persona Blades from the Dollar Store, from Dollar General. My girlfriend got them for me and I absolutely loved them blades and it was off and running and it's just been, it's been an absolute uh, wonderful, wonderful way to start or end a day with a nice shave. Anyhow, even though I only shave every two to three days. <coughs> One moment, oh, my dog start barking. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways, when he's out of harness, he goes from guide mode to regular dog mode. But anyways, um, so yeah, I just hate it shaving. And when I got, you know, did the did the start using the double edge razor and traditional shaving soap and a shaving brush and all that, and got good blades. It was just I was I was done. You know, I was off and running, and I haven't looked back since. And now I've got a YouTube channel. I've... One moment. So, yeah, I was off and running, and just, I mean, I love it. Anyhow, so, that's why I got into wet shaving. Now, let's take a look at why you might want to get into wet shaving. You might be like me. You hate using a regular, modern, modern shave gear. You hate it. Um, the cost is just too much for you, um, and it feels like a chore. And you just want a change, you just want something that can help you relax. And, you know, and figure out a way to start your day off right, or, you know, end, end your day on a good note. Well, traditional wet shaving might be for you. Now... If it's cost, let's take a look at that. You can get a good razor, good double edge razor online. Don't go to don't go to Target and get a Vanderhagen. Well, you could. You could get the Vanderhagen setup and you know you could start there and that's not bad. That's not a bad setup. You could do that. Or you could go online and, and look at the different. Just type in wet shaving, type in safety razors, shaving brushes, shaving soap, whatever. And you'll come up with a lot of different uh, different websites that sell that stuff. Anyhow, you'll spend, say, 25 on a good razor. 25, maybe a little more. Say you want the Mercur 34C. Let's say, you know, 40 bucks. All right? You think, God, 40 bucks for a razor? It's a little expensive, but there are razors out there that runs 400 bucks. Granted, those are made from, you know, CNC machine from titanium. Very beautiful razors, just really nice, or are made out of really high-end stainless steel, and just, you know, those are few and far between. But we'll look at just getting started. Okay, dropped, let's say, 25 bucks on a razor, okay? Uh, 
then let's say you want to just skip the whole thing because most people recommend get a sample pack of blades. Those are about, you know, 10 to 15 bucks. But say you want to go ahead and you say, oh, I'm just going to use these Astras. I'll go ahead and try these out. And you buy a whole sleeve of 100, okay? 20 bucks is about what you pay 400 blades, okay? But those razor blades will last you two, you know, my Astra SPs give me a five shaves out of every blade. So 500 shaves out of a sleeve, okay? Well, you're going to need a shaving brush. Here's a good one. This costs 20 bucks and change. It's from AP Shave Co. They're on Etsy. It's got a black and white synthetic nut. So if you're vegan, you don't have to worry about, you know, touching your face with animal hair. The handle is a hard acrylic and it's got a, like a ring up at the top right below the knot and then it's got kind of a, a bulbish shape kind of a bulb shape not real bulbish but a little bit and it's got a ring below that or a ridge below that and then it goes in like an hourglass and flares out and goes down to a flat bottom and it's called the ruby ripple handle if you can't see it it's it's got some colors different colors in it my girlfriend says it looks like a multicolored lava lamp in fact she said she was looking at when I, I see a fish face in it why i don't know i just see a fish face okay but you could spend between 10 and 20 bucks on a good brush say 15 on a good synthetic all right so you're up to 30 50 65 okay then you need soap I got one here by K Shave Works over on Etsy. Oh, this is a beautiful scent. The scent notes are bright orange, grapefruit, pineapple, vanilla, and cassock. I'm not sure what cassock is. But it's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scent. One of my favorites. I fell in love with this scent when I first smelled it. And first you fell in love with the soap the first time I used it. And you know, um, they are a little bit smaller tub. That's six ounce tub. They tub. They moved to four ounce tubs, but and you know, dropped the price a little bit. But you know, so fourteen bucks. So say fifteen bucks. You get a soap. Grab yourself a couple of soaps. So thirty bucks if you just want the bare minimum. If you want after shaves, post shave lotions, post shave creams, pre shave, pre shave oil, pre-shave lotion, pre-shave soap, whatever. That's up to you. But let's say just on the low end, if you want a good razor, so 25, 100 blades, that's about 20, so that's 45. Another 20, so that's um, 25, you know, uh, 45, 65, and then a couple of soaps, you know, 95. So about a hundred bucks or so in your shaving. Now you think, oh God, a hundred bucks to start shaving? Oh man. Okay. Might be a little high, but think of it this way. You buy a sleeve of blades. Those are going to last you a full year. Longer, actually. Longer. Probably closer to a year and a half. Okay. But say it went ahead and you had to replace the blades once a year. Okay. Say 20 bucks once a year for blades and say 30 bucks on a couple of soaps every year so what 20 and 30 that's 50 50 bucks per year to shave now take a look at what you pay in walmart or rite aid for say gillette fusion or mach 3 whatever you know gillette fusion i think it's like 450 a cartridge so that's you know 100 cartridges that's 450 bucks if you go with the Dollar Shave Club or Harry's or Gillette On Demand, that's like two to three bucks. Okay, a hundred of them, two to three hundred bucks. Fifty bucks versus two to three hundred. Okay, and if you're going ahead and you're using the cheap disposables and canned foam, well, canned foam is a couple of bucks and then say two bucks for ten razors. Let's say three bucks for ten razors. Say it lasts as you a month, you go out every month, so three and uh, three and 
2, that's 5. Okay, times that by 12, that's 60 bucks. So you're actually spending about the same, but every year, but it's much more enjoyable way to way to shave when you're when you're wet shaving, you know, and if you're like me and turn it into a hobby, it can cost you thousands of dollars over over time. I've got 30 soaps almost. I've got almost 40 razors. I've got a scuttle. I've got a vintage Old Spice mug, um, an apothecary mug. Both those mugs each have soaps in them. Um, I have aftershaves. I have close to probably between four and five hundred blades. But for me, this is a hobby. Some people collect guns. Some people collect motorcycles. Some people collect cards, cars. Some people collect sports sports cards and sports memorabilia. I collect shaving stuff, but if you want to save money, you know, buy one or two razors that you like, buy one or two soaps you like, and find one or two blades and a couple of different brushes that you like. And I guarantee you, you're going to save money in the long run. There's no doubt about it. Anyways, so that's what I wanted to say about all of that. Anyhow, uh, the next one is going to be on razors and blades. I'm going to talk a little bit about different razors, types of razors that's out there and the razors that, you know, um, you know, the different types of, you know, some of the different types of vintage razors versus modern razors. Um, when I say vintage, I mean razors from like the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s versus stuff you can get now, like old Gillette razors. Um, like, real quick. I have a vintage, here's an example of a vintage razor. This is a 195 adjustable. It's a butterfly twist to open, but you can adjust the shaving. You can adjust the blade to where you go ahead and you have more blade gap, a higher blade gap, or smaller blade gap, and I'll explain that later. Um, that razor cost $1.95 when it was being made. Now, you know, I end up paying 40 for it, but it's a great razor, and it's one of my favorite razors, um, but it's part of the hobby. Anyways, so, yeah, so we'll talk about st that type of stuff in the next video. Anyways, um, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Go ahead and do what you have to do to go ahead and get all notifications. Um, if you want to reach me via email, you can contact me, all lowercase, no spaces, just lance59 at gmail.com. Um, if you want, on the blind groups on Facebook, if you want, go ahead and, and comment on the video, on the link, and I'll sit there, I'll get back to you that way. Or, you know, if you have any questions, you know, PM me on Facebook, you know. And I'll do what I can to, to answer any questions you may have. Anyways, so y'all take it easy. And I can't be putting out another video for about a week or so because my father-in-law is basically coming up here in a couple of days. So we're going to be a little busy. Anyways, y'all take it easy. And I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.